everyone and welcome to my new Dory Paint video! And today I am going to customize such a strange fake Barbie doll hat that comes with a whole set of accessories. Here is a lipstick, <laughs> yeah, it's just plastic, you cannot paint those lips or anything with it. So here are also two rings, a bracelet, and it's also kind of funny. Why do you need rings and a bracelet for a doll that has no hands? And here is also a hair dryer that even supposed to work if you put some batteries in it, I think. This doll is quite cool, I think. It looks maybe a little bit strange because she has a completely different mold than some regular Barbie doll hats. But it's also very cool that her head is moving in different directions, like up and down also. And I'm already quite looking forward to start working on her because it's a completely new face type and I'm curious myself about the end result. Let's take my pure acetone and remove her old face. And I'm very happy that this red spot on her cheek is gone. I spray her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I let every layer dry about 40 minutes. When the surface is ready, I take my pencils and I sketch her face. And I work like always with Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. Then I also draw her nostrils and I sketch her eyebrows with soft pastels, shaping them with an eraser. You ask me sometimes how to work with soft pastels, look, I will show you now. I take these three colors pastels to contour the doll face, and then I literally scratch them on a piece of a sandpaper. And then I use this sandpaper as a palette to blush doll with such a powder. So first I'm contouring her face with light Indian red pastels.
and don't forget about the ears. I'm taking darker Caput Mortum pastels for the next layer. And every layer I protect with the sealant. In total, there is something about 17 or maybe 19 layers of sealant per doll. Then I take darker brown pastels and I work on her eye creases. blushers to the apples of her cheeks. So now all my pencils are super short and let's start drawing! I begin like always with the white parts of the eyes and then I move to the irises. And today I'm going to use such a very pretty phthalo green pencil as a main color of her eyes. And this is so weird! I own this box with pencils already probably for two years. And I've never, just never noticed this pencil before. I was really looking at it today like, uh, did I have it before? Uh, yeah, must be. <laughs> so, now it's finally a moment to start using it. And you better be pretty. Then I start working on the waterline and on the eyelids. And then I'm doing all the same with the second eye. 
combining different shades of brown, I draw the eyebrows. She has quite nice blonde hair, at least there are no shameful bald spots in it. So I will try to keep her original fair hair, and that's why the eyebrows should also be quite light. I cover with a couple of layers of pink soft pastels. And then I work more detailed on the eye creases. highlights and darker accents to the irises and to the eyebrows. Then another eye. Now I'm going to add grey shadows to the white of her eyes. crease is still a little bit deeper and darker with brown pastels. After 
after this layer of extra shadows, I still want to make the highlights a little bit more visible. And now I'm going to add highlights and creases to her lips. I think I still want to make lighter the spots that reflect the most light. So first I draw some sort of a background with pencils, I blend it very good with q-tips or with a blending tool, and then I apply light soft pastels on top of it. With the brown pencil I add the last shadows to her eyes and then with the black pencil I draw the eye lines and the bottom eyelashes. And then I still draw the highlights between the lashes.
I take a very sharp white pencil and I draw the smile. So now her face is almost ready and I'm going to work on her hair. I'm gonna brush it and then style her hair in some cute way. You know, it's quite difficult to work with doll hair on camera, because mainly I need to hold the doll between my knees, so mainly I'm doing this job offline, sorry. And now I just need to attach the false lashes and to add glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. And these lashes are not temperature resistant. That's why I always first do the doll's hair, because I use a hair dryer quite often for this and the lashes just will not survive it. And now I'm going to create some sort of dress imitation for her and I see her as a good girl wearing a sweet retro dress so let's try to recreate such a look using a piece of fabric, a double side tape and a glue gun. And here is my doll! I really love how this mold looks after the repaint. I think I like it even more than the standard Barbie faces, because she looks so unique and special in some way, so I would definitely experiment more with some unusual doll faces. And what do you think about my doll repaint this week? Please don't hesitate to write your thoughts and ideas under this video, because for me it's always a huge source of inspiration and support, and I always love when you're chatting with each other in the comments. And of course, please don't forget to put your likes under this video if it was fun for you to watch it. And of course, subscribe my channel if you don't want to miss my new Dory Paint videos every week Friday. And we will see each other very soon in my new videos. Bye!